Hey guys, welcome to this video of how I make an Alice in Wonderland themed cake. So first I have these uh, letters that you press into fondant and it makes an indentation. And then I cut out um, a shape with a plat cutter from JB Cookie Cutters and I'm just adding some gold edible bling highlighter uh, by Pepsi Cakes. I'm adding that into her name very carefully with a very small thin brush. Um, I let that dry and right now I'm going to make a teacup and saucer. I use a styrofoam bowl um, and I cut out a circle up on it and I shape it over the styrofoam bowl and then I leave it upside down to dry. And this is what it looks like once it's dried. This is just a gum paste. You can use fondant also with some Tylos added in. And then I carefully remove the styrofoam with the toothpick. You just pull it out. And then um, you can see how it would attach here, but it's a little bit wobbly. So what you do is you roll out some fondant, a little tiny circle, and then I put my edible glue, the circle, more edible glue, and then the teacup there. And then I use some gum paste just to form a little handle. And then I can easily glue that with my edible glue to the teacup. And then I let that dry for about a day. And then I come back and I paint some more of that uh, edible gold bling highlighter on the handle and the top of the teacup. Set that aside. And then right now I'm going to be making uh, the doorknob. So this is gold fondant. Um, I actually ended up painting it, you'll see later. I didn't really like the orange yellowish color um, I'm just kind of freehanding it here so what I did is I just looked at a picture of the doorknob and then I kind of just mapped out where I wanted everything to go I'm using a Dresden tool to make his mouth and then I'm using the other end of the Dresden tool the part that's like a little spoon and I just opened his mouth a little bit and then I made a big ball out of the same colored fondant and that is going to be the handle of the doorknob aka his nose and then I'm just drawing his eyes, his eyebrows, also with the Dresden tool. I make sure that the nose is a good size um, shape. And then once I do that, I make his eyebrows also out of fondant. And then I lay it on top of a styrofoam that's the same size cake that it's gonna go on and I just paint it and then I let it dry. And then here I have a white gum paste rose and I really, really wanted to make um, the painting the roses red. I really wanted to make that, so I took my favorite paint ever, Poppy Paint. I just let it dry for a second, and then I came back and painted over the red with Poppy Paint Super Shine just to make it look like it's fresh paint. Right now I'm just making some cute little mushrooms. It's just some white gum paste with red fondant on top. And then I just insert the other end of a paintbrush just um, so I can fit the top of the mushroom on top of that point, uh, the white part. And I'm using white poppy paint right now with a soft end of a modeling tool. And that's just how I make those little dots. And now I'm going to move on to the Mad Hatter's hat. So this is green fondant and the white powder was Tylos and that just helps your fondant to dry nice and hard. And I just shape it into a hat shape and then cut out a round uh, circle and that's just the brim of the hat and then I glue on a darker part of green around the hat as like the little scarf and out of white gum paste I cut out a very small rectangle and with black copy paint I just paint the 10 over 6 and then I add my edible glue and let that dry and now I'm moving on to the card so I wanted to make the Queen's card I have this really cool cutter set I don't remember where I got it from. It was so long ago when I first started out making cakes. You might be able to find a similar one by searching up a deck of cards cookie cutter. I'm not very sure. But anyway, I kind of freehanded some of the stuff. Um, some of the things that I wanted to make for the Queen's card did not come with it. Uh, like a smaller heart, I used just a regular Wilton plunger cutter there uh, to make the face but for the card itself, it came with um, the letter A and some little heart stamps, which I will paint those in a little bit. And I'm just making the face here and some little feet. I didn't make any arms um, because I didn't think it needed it, but you can add some if you want. 
Right now I'm moving on to the edible moss that is on the cake board. It's just crushed up graham crackers and some uh, shredded coconut. And I added two different colors of gel food coloring. I used a leaf green and a forest green and I just added it to the bag and I kind of just massaged the bag. And after you massage the bag, it kind of gets in all those crevices of the graham cracker and the coconut. So you can see here, I'm just kind of squishing everything together and to make sure everything is completely covered. Uh, it just gives a really cool look to the cake. And this is all edible. You can leave out the coconut if you want to. I'm sure the graham crackers would be just fine. The coconut just gives it a extra texture that I was looking for. And this is what it looks like. So there's tiny little bits of the graham cracker that's not fully covered. Um, I do actually really like this look, so I left that alone. And now we're gonna move on to the cake itself. I need to make some black diamonds. So I'm just rolling out some black fondant, uh, the white powder there that is cornstarch, and it's just so that the fondant doesn't stick to my little cutting mat here. So I'm cutting out a million of these black diamonds and I'm attaching it to the cake with my edible glue. Before I started cutting these out, I did make sure that I was going to be using a diamond cutter that would reach from the bottom to the top of the cake. So just make sure you kind of check to make sure you're not using one that's too big or too small. If it's too small, you'll just have to be cutting way more diamonds than this. And if it's too big, you might have to cut one off when it gets to the top or the bottom. And this one actually fit perfectly. So here I am adding all of them to the cake. And right now I'm adding my edible glue to the board. And that is just so that all of this edible moss that I made will stick to the board. I am using a glove um, as I didn't want all of that green um, gel color on my hand and I'm adding some thick boba straws to the cake and this is going to support uh, the top tier and I add a little bit of buttercream uh, before adding the top tier of my cake just so that they stick together and there it is there just making sure that everything looks right and now I'm going to be adding uh, my doorknob so I did put a toothpick into the nose there, and that's just so that it would be able to hold up the weight since it was kind of heavy. And then I go ahead and add my rose with some leaves, the nine topper, and the hat, and that teacup, the card, those little mushrooms, and it came out so adorable. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I know some of it is fast, but hopefully you were able to follow along. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye!